How's it going everyone? I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a video so I figured I'd you know get back on track and start uploading some videos again. The video I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a project that I started working on for a client and you know we kind of just abandoned this project because we moved on to something different but I figured to the right person this project could have some value so I th thought I'd kind of show what it is and if you guys are interested in it you guys can purchase it it's going to require you to have a subscription to Scraper API, but you know, let's jump into what it is. And then if you guys want it, you can email me and we'll, we'll talk. So the first thing, let me know, I'll tell you what it does. Uh, uh, any Facebook page that runs ads, it will show you the ad ID and show you the date that the ad started running. Now, how is this helpful to you or to the right person? If you're an agency owner who runs Facebook ads for businesses, you can scrape a specific category of uh, Facebook business pages and then feed them to this program and it'll show you all the ads that they're running and the, the date that they started running the ads. Now with that information, you could then pitch them saying, hey, you know, it looks like you haven't updated your ads in a month, two months, six months, a year, whatever it is or maybe they're not running ads at all and you wanna pitch them on running ads for them. So this is just an easy way to generate a list of qualified leads based on you know if they're running ads and they're old or they're not running ads at all. So the way that we're gonna do this is you're gonna to go to a different version of Facebook and the whole reason for this is uh, it lets you easily grab the Facebook page ID, which we're going to need. So we're going to go to mbasic.facebook.com. So just highlight this part of the URL. And this is assuming that you've scraped these pages already. And I have other videos that show you how to do that. I'll link them in the description. So once you have your list of businesses that you want to check to see if they're running ads, you're going to copy the URLs to a notepad. So we'll put these here real quick. have that one oops Place it there all right so we have these three businesses right now we're gonna bring good old scrape box import list from clipboard and now we have these businesses loaded in scrape box now from here and I'll leave this in the description as well you're gonna go to grab check custom data grabber create edit custom grabber and you're gonna create one called I mean, name it whatever you want, Facebook UID. Put everything the same for the, the first five entries. And then you're going to do save as new module. And then you highlight it once it's made and do edit module masks. And then you call the name of the mask UID. And this is the part I'll leave in the description because this is what will actually return the result to you. But once you copy that in, just do save as new mask and then you'll be ready to go. So with that said, you have your list of URLs, you click grab check, custom data grabber, and then you click the custom then you click the custom data grabber that you just created. It's going to open up this screen. And you don't need to do anything from here, but just click start. And you're going to see really quick that it found all the Facebook page IDs. And here they are. Now I'll show you why we need these real quick. So we're going to go back here. We're going to scroll down, page transparency, go to ads library. And you can see real quick that the page ID is at the end of this URL. So this matches up with this one. This is my sense is this page right here. This is their page ID. So I have an Excel sheet. Let me open that up. I'll leave a, a download link to this as well. Oh, it's been a minute since I used this, but <laughs> let's see. Delete, delete that. And actually, it looks like they updated. So we'll take all of this. Delete that. All right. Copy the ones that we just... These are the ones that we literally just scraped to scrape box, right? And I'll, again, I'll leave this Excel sheet 
in the description. So you guys can have this. So once we have the completed string, copy this. And we're going to open up the Facebook Sweeper. I'm sorry, the first thing we got to do is we copy these from the Excel sheet. We're going to paste them in to a notepad. And this is just a document that I made that I'm going to load into the Facebook Sweeper and tell it, hey, scrape, the, scrape these pages. So we'll save that, move this out of the way, and we'll open up the Ad Sweeper. You're going to need Scraper API to run this. So configure, and you put your API key right there. This is how many times you want it to retry if it doesn't um, successfully grab the data. So I'll set that to five. Timeout, we want 60 seconds because sometimes, you know, it takes a while to load. So we don't want it to move on because it took too long to load. So we'll give it 60 set seconds. We'll save that. And then we'll load up our files to process, which is the one I just made, which is this. And then we'll do extract all eggs. So now as you can see, it's processed the URLs that we fed the program. And this is the result. So for each page, let this load up. We can see that it's given us an add ID. Shoot, no one. Add ID, the add URL, and the date that the ad is started running. Open another one. Add ID, add URL, and the start date. So you can see the 15th, 15th, these are all brand new ads, a little older, and their oldest ad started on January 4th. This one, oldest ad is from December 8th of last year. So again, you know, this, I'm sure this program has value to somebody. Um, if you, if you're interested in it, email me and we'll, we'll talk about it. Thank you. Now, if you want to take your hour base to the next level, um, after you've scraped the Facebook business page and you've scraped their ads, um, if you want to get in contact with the people who actually own the business and get their emails, um, there's a service called IC Leads, which does just that for you. It finds the owners, vice presidents, president, CEOs email for you. So in the example we used, I pulled the websites for them. So I'm going to come over to uh, people database search and I'm going to paste in the website URLs, give it a name. So these are perfume sites and we just want specific ones. So now these ones are pre-populated CEO, CMO, CTO. Let's do CFO, Chief Executive Officer, I can't type, can't spell, do that one, we'll do President, Owner, Founder, what else, um, Partner. So we just give it um, the titles of the people that we'd like to email, you know, to pitch our service. So after we do that, all we do is click upload list, and if it finds anybody, it's going to return the result to you. And it doesn't look, look like <laughs> it's going to find anything, but we'll give it a second. So it's done, and it actually found two contacts. So we'll click this, and we'll download it in CSV, and we'll open it up, and we'll see what it found. So it found two contacts at Simper. We have the person's first name, Mariah and Daniel, their last name. I'm not going to try to pronounce that or that one. <laughs> but as you can see, this person, Mariah, she's the founder and CEO. And this Daniel is the partnerships marketing manager. So maybe you don't want to email him, but you definitely want to email her. So just think if you're doing this at scale, I mean, we only put three websites in there. So I wasn't expecting it to even find anything if I'm honest. So the fact that I found this one, it's great. So it just takes your outreach to the next level because instead of emailing an info at or a contact at, you're directly emailing the CEO. So this is just a little better way to go about your outreach. And if you want to sign up for IC Leads, I'll leave a link in the description. That is my affiliate link, so I would appreciate it if you did sign up using it. Thank you.